So you want a 4D number plate. You love the Ds so much, so therefore more Ds must be a better, right? But how are they made and how do they look? And before we jump forward, let's step back and see how we got all the way to 4D. In 1973, the reflective number plates that we know of today became mandatory and the black and white stamped metal plates were discontinued. They were either printed or pre-cut vinyl letters that were sandwiched between clear plastic front and a reflective backing. They were just called number plates or license plates, but as they were the first type and the printing was flat, we called them 1D plates, D standing for dimension. So to make these 1D number plates, you needed a printer off to the side here, some reflective backing, and some clear film that was printed on. So your film would just go through in the, uh, the printer as standard, come out with the number plate printed on it, but in reversed, and that will be placed on this roller. And then you get your backing, place it on, line it all up, and then you juggle it over, and then one handle, and this compresses the two together, draws all the air bubbles out, so you get a bubble-free plate. Now, not everyone can make a number plate, well, physically you could if you really wanted to, but to buy uh, the rollers and the parts and to legally create a number plate that's legal for the road, you have to be RNPS licensed, which I am because I'm a special. And once you're licensed, you can then create number plates and sell them to the public. However, the rules have changed again. Previously, as long as you saw a photocopy of some sort of documentation, like the V5C or something along those lines, you could send number plates out. Now they've changed the law where you have to be able to physically see a copy of the V5C. So all the people who are sending number plates out online aren't actually following the rules. And I think a lot of the time they are classing them as off-road use only, which is a bit of a shame really because I, I wanted to send out number plates to my uh, site users, but now I actually can't, so thanks government. And in the 1980s, a new trend appeared, a 2D number plate. Ooh. They were printed, but the font had a fake shading to it give an impression of depth. Now shortly after these, with the increased interest of carbon fiber, uh, fake printed carbon fiber lettered plates also became popular. Now, both of these have now been banned as the ruling states that the font must be plain black. And in the 1990s we finally got our first 3D number plate. There were stick-on vinyl letters that had been resin domed and stuck to the front of the plate to give extra height to the letters. They're generally called 3D gel plates. The current day legality is a bit of a gray area since the specified font had to be edited to remove the sharp edges so the resin would flow correctly. Then for decades, nothing really changed except for in 2001 where the government changed to a new font called Mandatory, which was developed from a font called Charles Wright. Previous to 2001, the legal font was known as Cirque, which had wider letters to the current day font. A more narrow font was required in order to provide room for the emblems on the left, such as the country's flag or the EU logo. In around 2020, we finally got the first 4D number plate. The fourth dimension is time, so the name is clearly bullshit, but 3D plates were already a thing, so they plussed one and BMW drivers absolutely gobbled it up, which leads us on to how they were made and how the completed plate looks. So let's complete a 4D number plate and see how it looks before I unveil the next newest iteration, the 5D number plate. Now the letters are cut from a standard black bit of acrylic sheet on a laser, such as this one here. Now all we have to do is create our uh, design, which is the correct font, Charles Wright, using light burn, and you send it to your laser, frame it, make sure it's in frame, it's fine, set it down, start, and then leave it to it. There you go, there are our letters. There's um, a protective layer you need to peel off, otherwise it looks a bit like shit. Now we'll do that. So once you've got letters, you can space them out correctly. Normally they would be cut out with the, like a sticky back tape on the back of them, and you have to lay them out. Now the companies that normally do these will have a special spacing jig, because it's important to get them the right space. I do not have these. Plus, 
this has got far too many letters to be a proper number plate so this is merely for demonstration purposes so i'm just going to uh, space them out until they till it looks all right now as is normally the case the modding scene pushed their luck and created 4d neon plates which have a colored back layer such as this that used to sit in between there to create like a, a colored backdrop now sometimes they would even cut the backing away and backlight them so then the color would shine through because obviously they want to draw attention to themselves now this design was uh, banned very quickly under the previous rule that the font must be black So let's properly complete the 4D number plate. I've got a stand number plate underneath, which just gives you somewhere to line up with. I'll complete it, and we'll see how it looks before I unveil the newest iteration, the 5D number plate. All right, this is the 4D number plate before fitting. Now, would you like to see why they're so popular with BMW drivers when they're fitted? There you go, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D number plate. That is how good they look on your car. There you go, BMW drivers, that's you. That's your dad. Oh dear, that's your mum. There you go, that is how good they actually look when on your car. Enjoy. Introducing the world premiere 5D number plate. Check that out. Look how far they D from there. That is so much D. Guys, you're driving along, they're going to be flapping around. That's going to be, it's going to look so good. The future, ladies and gentlemen, the future. A wonder to behold. Look at the majesty, the flappiness. And as an aside, if you ever consider getting a bubble plate. Now, I'm getting the word nuts. 